now. Not only do we have lots of historical architecture here in the town of Tanbridge, we also have a rich variety of famous residents. Of course, everyone has heard of the famous writers Jim Harmon, Anna Collins and Ian Cheriton, or I.H. Cheriton as he is better known. And they have all lived in our small town. In fact, Anna Collins, the celebrated romance novelist, spent all her life in this town. She lived by the town square, where there is a plaque to commemorate her. She died in 1968, and you can see her gravestone in Tambridge Cemetery. You may know Anna from her most famous work, The Pride of Angels, which won numerous awards and for which she was a runner-up for the Herald Prize in 1950. James Harmon also lived here between 1975 and 1990. A best-selling horror writer, he got many of his themes for his haunting novels from this very town. He passed away a year after leaving Tanbridge, and although he isn't buried in the town, we do have a statue of him on the roundabout as you enter the town. Now, not only do we have lots of historical architecture here in the town of Tanbridge, we also have a rich variety of famous residents. Of course, everyone has heard of the famous writers Jim Harmon, Anna Collins and Ian Cheriton, or I.H. Cheriton as he is better known. And they have all lived in our small town. In fact, Anna Collins, the celebrated romance novelist, spent all her life in this town. She lived by the town square, where there is a plaque to commemorate her. She died in 1968, and you can see her gravestone in Tambridge Cemetery. You may know Anna from her most famous work, The Pride of Angels, which won numerous awards and for which she was a runner-up for the Herald Prize in 1950. James Harmon also lived here between 1975 and 1990. A best-selling horror writer, he got many of his themes for his haunting novels from this very town. He passed away a year after leaving Tanbridge, and although he isn't buried in the town, we do have a statue of him on the roundabout as you enter the town.